What's up guys, welcome back to CoinUs. If you have rare US coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. See this charming Jefferson Nickel dated 1945 with mint mark D ended up selling for over $16,000. This is because it has relatively low mintage, it displays super preservation level and eye appeal. And it is fully struck on reverse, it has full steps designation to be exact. Since 1945, the Jefferson Nickel was graded as MS68 Plus by PCGS, which is considered to be high grade and has a good value among collectors. The grading system PCGS evaluates coins based on their condition and rarity and assigns them a numerical grade on a scale of 1 to 70. These rare specimens ended up selling for $16,312.50 at Great Collections Auction. This is 1930s Lincoln Cent in mean state 67 red condition. Red examples of the 1930s are plentiful in MS64 through MS66, but that availability drops off a cliff in MS67. The present coin displays a sharp strike and luminous satin surfaces, no spots are evident, and the warm copper-orange hues provide excellent visual appeal. Sold for $11,100 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1955 D. Roosevelt dime, graded as MS68 full bands by PCGS, well-blended toning in copper rose, powder blue and pale gold colors blankets both sides. The underlying luster is fully vibrant and the surfaces are smooth and pristine. As the day the coin emerged from the press, it was sold for $7762.50 at Stax Powers. This is 1971 the half dollar struck on 40% silver planchet. Fascinating and rare wrong planchet error. This exciting offering is for a 1971 D Kennedy half dollar, an issue that was produced using the then new copper nickel clad composition struck on 40% silver planchet in error. As the Denver Mint used that composition for its 1970 D half dollar issue, distributed only in mint sets. This planchet was obviously left over from the preceding year's coinage. Boldly struck with satiny luster, both sides exhibit only the lightest suggestion of toning to otherwise silver grey surfaces. It was sold for $9,900 at Stax Powers. Here is 1981 P. Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 67. This one also comes with fully struck Monticello reverse, meaning full steps. Both sides are pristine and surfaces display nickel grey luster. The 1981 P. Jefferson nickel is a common coin but reaching the MS67 grade, which means it has an uncirculated condition, is rare. The full step designation means that the coin's design on the steps leading up to Monticello on the backside is sharp and fully defined. This superb gem ended up selling for $4,500 at Great Collections Auction. And here is 1962 Washington Quarter in Mint State 67, rainbow toned specimen with radiant, nearly flawless of verse, which is further enhanced by splendid multicolored toning. The reverse shows only hint of peripheral gold at the borders, with an otherwise brilliant white surfaces. It ended up selling for $10,200 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next episode. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app.